Hey guys, it's Quiva from Fit Greenland. Today is the 1st of March, the first day of spring. It's totally a day to celebrate. So this month I want us to work on something which is really important and hugely impactful together. And that is to create better mornings. So we're not just gonna look at the hows and the whys and the benefits. We're actually gonna create better mornings together, step by step, day by day, week by week, over the month. So I can't wait for this. So why would you uh, want to create better mornings? Well, it's really not just so you can act conceited when someone in work asks you what time you get up at and you can tell them all about how early you get up and all these amazing morning practices that you have. Um, that does seem to pee people off. But if you are one of those people who gets peed off and who also can get up 15 minutes before you leave the house for work, dash around, get everything done, then grab a donut on the way to work, eat some kind of processed sandwich at lunch and then grab a delivery in the evening and still live your absolutely most energetic, healthy, happiest life, then I am the one who is jealous of you. Hats off to you if you can rock it like that. If on the other hand you are like me and benefit from positive structure in your, in your day, having some positive patterns, healthy patterns to support you, then changing up your morning routine and creating better mornings is definitely the way to go. It is definitely the way to make positive changes in your life. So, you know, basically when you feel like you are stuck in any way, shape or form with your health, whether you feel like you are stopping and starting, um, failing every once in a while, just can't get into the swing of things, then looking at your morning and creating these positive patterns is really the way to create this space that lets you address all the other issues that you might have in your health or your life. Basically, of all the different things that you can do for your health, whether that is changing your exercise routine, changing your food, ch changing up your morning and creating a more positive uh, pattern in your morning is way more impactful. This is like the mothership of all things you can do for your health. And that is why I want us to run through this uh, process together over the month, step by step, day by day. So for the moment, there's just one thing that you need to do, and that is decide, that the decide on the time that you would like to get up at on Monday the 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th of March. So what I would recommend is that you try to get up 30 minutes earlier than you would normally get up. So really simple, just one, one uh, thing to decide on. We're gonna take it slow and steady, and that's how we're gonna make sure that this becomes an actual part of your life, not just something that you dip your toes into and then back away from when it gets a little bit challenging. It's not gonna be challenging because we're gonna take it in really stable, incremental, yet really impactful steps. So just decide on that time. I have three guidelines for you uh, for Monday morning. So one is just to be ready for that little voice that might come into your mind or your, your ear and it says, what are you getting up at this time for? Why do you even want to do this? You can do it tomorrow. Why did you commit to this? You don't even need to get up earlier. It's fine, you can, you can change your diet, you can, you can go keto, that'll make the same impact. You know, be ready for this uh, voice that is going to try and talk you out of getting up at the time that you've decided, the time the alarm gets off, up, gets, goes off at. So just be ready to laugh that voice off and get your bum out of bed. Um, number two is don't wait until you feel ready to get out of bed because that's probably not gonna happen. Getting out of bed even 30 minutes later at the normal time that you get up can also be challenging. So don't, read, don't wait to feel ready. You're probably not gonna feel ready. So just turn off the alarm, gently get your bum out of bed. Remember that you committed to yourself, it's just one day. If after half an hour you wanna get back into bed, you can, but for now you're gonna get up. And the third thing is to give yourself something nice to look forward to. So it's only 30 minutes, it's not that long. So try and plan this thing that lasts maybe 10, five, 10 minutes. So an example could be, great, I'm gonna go downstairs, I'm gonna make myself a cup of tea or a cup of coffee, whatever you like to have, and I'm gonna sit and read for five minutes. So something small and simple, but it's kind of like, it's a gift to yourself, it's a nice treat. One thing is that it cannot be something on your screen, you can't be, uh, on your phone so no phones for this first 30 minutes another example could be you know what I'm gonna stick my runners on and I'm gonna walk around the block just gonna 
walk up the street, it'll take five minutes, just out of curiosity, because I've never gone for a walk at this time of the morning, so I'm gonna see what's happening. And just give yourself something different to look forward to, and nothing too serious um, for those first 30 minutes. So to run over the, the preparation for Monday is number one, just decide on the time that you're gonna get up, ideally 30 minutes earlier than normal. Don't be overly ambitious and say, hey, I'm gonna get up an hour or 90 minutes um, earlier than I normally get up because that's just gonna make you feel probably sleep deprived. It's gonna make it more challenging than it needs to be. 30 minutes is a good, good timing. Um, be ready for those voices that are trying to ask you or make you think about why am I doing this? Why would I need to do this? I, I don't really wanna do it. Be ready for those voices. Um, number two, don't, don't be waiting until you feel ready because it might always kind of feel like a little bit of a struggle on a Monday morning. So just, you know, don't wait until you feel ready. Just remember what you committed to. And the last one is to just give yourself something pleasant and different. Uh, to do pleasant different and not difficult so reading something for five minutes a book a magazine and a cup of tea or just walking around the block maybe buying yourself a cup of tea or coffee when you're out okay guys I am excited about this month uh, day by day step by step week by week together we are gonna create these epic epic and amazing uh, mornings together okay have a great weekend